Hi, welcome to the next episode of Craig and Marnie Make a Sandwich. While Marnie's farm is sleeping underneath all that snow, it's like a winter wonderland out here. It, it, it is beautiful, <laughs> yeah. Today we're at beautiful Playa Guiones because we're gonna go collect some seawater and try and evaporate it into salt. There's a lot of things to do on the farm, but there's a lot of things we can do in the meantime. And I wanna make a sandwich in the most difficult way possible. So this is all new as I figure it out. I read a bunch of pages on the internet on how to make salt out of seawater. And I figure, well, I should probably filter it in case there's sand or whatever else is in there. So I got a few gallons, grabbed a coffee filter and this funnel. Let's see how it goes. I can't see any particulate matter, but the flow is getting slow, so it must be catching something. I think it's catching something at a really small level because once I change the filter, it seems to be going down a lot quicker. So then I changed the coffee filters a few times. and the water now looks really nice and clean. I'm gonna pour the last little bit in. So off we go to the stove. Here are my pots, here's the water. I figured one pot was good. As Ricky from the Trailer Park Boy says, get two birds stoned at once. Splashy, splashy. Pour the water in the pot and boil it down. Occasionally stirring, watching the water level, and this is the boring part. This is gonna take a while. Probably gonna take all day. So I watched a bunch of Mandalorian episodes. Nice little rolling boil. So we're doing okay. A lot of water is boiled off, but I'm not seeing any salt just yet. But I do know from my basic grade nine science class that this is a super saturated solution right now. So when it gets down a little bit lower, I'll add some water out of here, because this little one seems to be doing better at evaporating or boiling off the water. And I'm gonna have to go get more water tomorrow. Success! That's salt. That's definitely salt. You can see it. It's like a slurry. So I'm gonna put this probably in a pan and let the rest of it evaporate. I had to turn the uh, heat all the way down, but I got me some salt. I want more though. I gotta get more. Once it's boiled down, it looks like wet sand. I pour it into my roasting pan. All I really need is something flat with a large surface area. And the Nosara grocery store didn't have any baking trays, so I just got a cheap roasting pan. It's fine. It's actually right beside where they sell machetes for my last video. 
and then seeing how little I got. I figure I need to go back for more seawater at the tide pools. I swung by my favorite little store in Garza for a locally made popsicle on the way home. They didn't have coconut. Stir. Then I have to bust it all up as it's drying. Feel free to make all the Breaking Bad jokes. I know I did. Keep drying at about 175 degrees until it's kind of hard and crumbly. And this, this takes like a whole, almost two days to get me here. from Guiana Sur, the greatest hidden gem in Costa Rica. Salt with a terroir from my favorite beach. And then I did it again, so I'd have enough to give to my friends. It's got a light taste, so it'll probably be good as a finishing salt, and I'll take it home and use it for the bread that Marnie and I are gonna bake. <laughs>